The Hobie H-Bar is great for entering and exiting your kayak, pulling yourself up from the seating position, and stand up fishing. Today I'm going to mount one on a Prongo 12. First we're going to mount the front part of the H-Bar, or the main frame, on the mounting boards. But before you drill any holes in your boat, you want to size it up to make sure it's comfortable when you're standing up. And this is all dependent on how tall you are. So you can get a friend to help you lift it up. You can get inside of the boat and rest the H-Bar to where it hits you in a comfortable position. I like to rest the H-Bar just right above my belt line and lean up against it. So mark those spots, lay the H-Bar back down, and drill your mounts out. The mounting boards on the Pro Anglers are angled outwards, so when you mount your mounting plate, make sure that the tab on the top is facing inwards or angled inwards to compensate for that difference. So I've had a friend help me measure where I want the front of the H-Bar to lay on the nose of my kayak, and now what I'm doing is centering it on those spots, and also making sure that the gaps right here and the gaps between the two arms are even, so it lays nice and flush. I'm marking the spot where the center of my mounting plate is going to go. From that center mark that I made, I'm extending a little line on either side, and that simulates the pin that will be going through this mount. So now when I line it up, I can lay it right on top of there. Now that I have my spots marked, I'm going to take my 3 16 inch drill bit and drill some holes. You can put a bolt in there to hold it in place for now. Now I'm going to add these lock nuts to the back to secure the mount in place. A quick switch over to the drill bit and a 3 8 inch wrench, and we'll tighten these up. I have the front feet of the bar in place, and we're going to secure it with these pins, and we'll open it back up and mark our spots for our back mounting plates. So some people like to fish barefoot, some like to wear shoes. I wear shoes usually when I'm on the kayak. I have some flip-flops on now. That feels just about perfect for me. So I'm going to mark that spot right there and right there and mount my back feet. When you're done using your H-Bar, fold down the back legs and clip them into place. You can either remove your entire H-Bar by pulling these quick pins when you're transporting it, or use the provided nuts and bolts to secure the front permanently to the boat and leave it on there while you transport it. There's also a bungee provided to keep the front latch down. The H-Bar not only helps you get out of your seat and up into the standing position, but it provides a platform for you to lean against and make that cast to those feeding fish.